Hey everybody! So we have made it to the end of our seven days together and I want to tell you all that we are so happy that you joined us. Over these last seven days we've covered some fairly simple changes that you can make to work towards a healthier you, okay? And I hope that you all have taken advantage of this to really incorporate those. I mean, we didn't even ask you to like pick up a hand weight, you know? We talked about on day one, how much water should we be drinking? This one's always a big topic of conversation. And so I'm just curious how surprised you guys were on that one. And then the other one was eat breakfast. I know for me, I struggle with this one. I have to remind myself to eat breakfast within an hour of waking up. Otherwise, it doesn't happen. But I know it's, it's the best thing for me. The other one is to never leave home without a snack. And I know for me, if I do leave ha the house and I don't have a snack with me and I'll be like, oh, you know what, I'm not going to be, I'm not going home or I'm not going to be out for very long. And then next thing I know, I get delayed and I'm starving. And so this is one that really has made a difference for me is I really truly don't ever leave home without a snack. And if I do, guess what? I've got a bag of almonds in the back of my car with my raincoat and my rain boots because, you know, I, I'm i in and out of my car all day for work. So I've got an emergency supply. We should all have some type of an emergency supply. Or if you don't, then some type of plan. Like if you are caught out without a snack and you're starving because nobody wants to get hangry, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? How are you going to manage that? And then the next thing we talked about was loving ourselves enough to make ourselves a priority. You know, without making ourselves a priority, we can't really take care of the people that we love the most. And so that that's a big part of just being a healthier you. And then, okay, so another change we talked about was just practicing insightful eating. All right, making sure that, am I hungry? You know, when you find yourself moseying into the kitchen towards the pantry or the refrigerator and it's not meal time, am I hungry or is it really time for a snack? And that's really helpful. And then reading labels. All right, this is really a big one. So often I will get a message from a customer and she'll send me a picture of the information label on a product, but I'll only get, you know, that one that we're so familiar with where it shows the fat and the carbs and the sugars and all that good information. But the macronutrients aren't everything. It's It also comes down to the micronutrients. What's in the product? What are the ingredients? And that's really where the rubber meets the road. So if you start to really look at the micronutrients, the ingredients that make up the product, then you're going to see a big difference in your nutrition. And guess what? If you don't, if you can't pronounce the, the items and, if, and you don't know what they are, that's okay. Because guess what? That's what we're here for. So reach out to your coach and they're happy to help you because guess what? That's what we love to do. All right. Do it. And then getting a bird's eye view of what your week ahead looks like, all right? I know for me in pharmaceuticals, like there are times where I'm like, I know I'm having dinner at Ruth's Chris, and guess what? Ruth's Chris puts out a pretty mean filet mignon, and I know that I'm going to eat that filet. So I'm gonna plan ahead, and I know that I'm gonna eat a big hunk of red meat that week, and so I'm gonna plan ahead and figure out like what sides am I gonna eat at that dinner? I'm definitely not gonna have any wine with that dinner. I'm gonna drink lots of water and I'm gonna be good sandwiching that time where I'm going to cheat off of my meal plan. And it really is beneficial to look at your week ahead and say, what's coming up so that you're not caught with your, sorry for the quote, pants down in a situation where you are trying really hard to be good. So. You know what, we have, um, in addition to our seven day free groups, we also have challenge groups where, you know, customers purchase challenge packs through our program and we'll sit down, your coach will work with you and figure out 
what's the best program for you to get back into some type of fitness program or if you are into a fitness program what what works into your lifestyle what's going to help you up your game and your fitness and then also shakeology and food programs and so if you're ready to take that next step, we would love to have you. I can tell you right now that I have worked with customers that already were very much into working out. I mean, you know, 20 push-ups in a row and they could, you know, work out all day long and yet they had 10 pounds that they just could not get rid of. And we were able to make that happen for them. And so we encourage you to reach out to your coach and find out like is this something that's for you is this something that you're ready to take on and if it's not that's okay like no strings attached no pressure we're here when you're ready and anyways so thank you so much for joining us and don't forget about what you've learned this week and we'll take it from there okay have a great rest of your month and we hope to see you soon.